What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to talk about something that was on my mind. Um, happened a couple weeks ago, but I just haven't gotten a chance to put it on camera. Um, I got offered a sponsorship opportunity, somewhat of a sponsorship opportunity. I'm going to give you the details in a second. And I turned it down. Oh, why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. It, you're turning down free money. It's cool to be a sponsored athlete. Listen, I would love a sponsorship, don't get me wrong, a supplement sponsorship, an apparel sponsorship, um, or an affiliate link, or something like that, if I really thought it was worth it, or I, you know, it was something I believed in. So, I was posting some, you know, up, uh, update pictures on my Instagram of what my physique looks like and whatnot, and um, this company, and I won't mention the name because I don't want anybody suing me, uh, said, oh, you know, we really like your look. Uh, please contact us and maybe we could talk about, you know, this potential sponsorship opportunity. So I said, okay, let me check it out. So originally when I saw the name and their website, I do my research first. I started to read up on it and some things didn't start to add up to me. The said company was more marketed towards CrossFitters. Okay, that's great. So why would you be reaching out to a bodybuilder? Um, very odd to me. And I also started to look at their price point for their product as well as what they're offering. So I started looking at the price point and their protein is a two pound jug that they're offering for like 70 bucks. I'm going, why would I buy a two pound jug of protein for 70 bucks when I could buy a five pound jug for 50 um, or a little over 50 makes no sense to me, but all right, let me reach out to this company and see what they're all about. So I reach out and I said, hey, listen, you know, I'm, I'm Robinson DUP from Instagram. You left a message on my uh, my account to reach out to you guys about this. Uh, I want to kind of discuss what the details are about said opportunity. So they reach back out to me immediately and it starts off basically with like this sales pitch. Um, you know, this is what the opportunity is. Basically, um, here are our supplements. You'll get a discount code, blah, blah, blah. You know, we basically want you to spam constantly on your YouTube channel and your Instagram and everywhere else on your social media about our supplement company, blah, 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 blah. So I said, wait a minute. I was like, I I've never even tried your product yet. You want to offer me said sponsorship or affiliate. Um, you should send me some product first so I can at least try it, read your label, check it out, see if it's, if it's worthwhile or something I would want to attach my name to. So that was my original response. I immediately got a response back, well, we're not really sending out any product um, because we're a very small company and we're reaching out to several different athletes and, and blah, 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 and right back into the sales pitch again with a team discount link so I can get um, you know, a, a hat, a t-shirt, a shaker bottle, and their overpriced product at a discount. So. I reached back and I said, once again, listen, if you're really interested in offering me a sponsorship opportunity and this is really something that's important to you, then I suggest you send me about a month's worth supply of said product. Um, I'll try it. If I like it, I'll reach back out to you. Um, and then maybe we can work something out. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be spamming this stuff all over the place. But I also wrote a couple little other very honest pieces of feedback. I said, listen, you know, you've already changed the name of the company from the day that you solicited me to now, which by the way, they said was due to a, uh, another company that had a similar name saying they could take them to court. Um, the two names weren't even remotely the same, nor could be confused with one another. So that story didn't really add up except for the beginning. Um, so if you were to say uh, bioprotein versus bio, um, I don't know. Uh, BioPro, let's say, versus Bio, um, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. They didn't even sound like, they don't rhyme, they don't even start the same way. Just the only thing that was the same were the first three letters of the name. So, Biogenics versus Bio Supplements or something, like they're not even close. So I was like, already that sounds odd to me, and to me it sounds like what you're trying to do is set up some sort of MLM type of street team distribution thing with these team codes where I'm buying a product for you at a discounted price, which is already overpriced to begin with. Um, and I've never tried the product, so I'm not willing to attach my name to it. Um, if you're really interested in having me as one of your athletes possibly representing your brand, this is what my st stipulations are gonna be before I ever present them to any of my subscribers, followers, or anybody else. 
And I said on top of that, your your supplements are ridiculously overpriced. Um, and I suggest that if you're going to continue to be in business, that you may want to bring that down because based on the market, this is what you can get for this and this and this and this. So long story short, they came back to me and basically said, well, we're sorry to hear that you're not interested. Um, yeah, we understand what your thoughts are, um, but this we're going to go about this approach anyway. Um, and basically, maybe one day you'll be a full-time buyer of our products and you could buy them at full price. Basically, you asshole type of comment. So that's it, guys. Uh, you know, these scams are coming all over the place. And by the way, the same company that had changed their name just solicited me again on my Instagram account. So obviously, they don't even keep track of who they're soliciting. Um, to help get their name out there basically for free for no benefit for the people who are doing it um, with a promise of a sponsorship maybe sometime out in the future uh, and on top of that they're not and the best part was I even asked them about the quality of the ingredients that they're using as well as if they would guarantee that it would pass um, you know the water list and they completely skipped over that question which was kind of a little odd so that's the long story short, guys. I had a sponsorship opportunity. Um, I was smart enough to ask a whole bunch of questions and put some stipulations on if I were to take it, what those stipulations would be. They wouldn't bite on it because I actually had a brain in my head and wasn't falling for the same old shtick of, or the allure of being a sponsored athlete. And um, if I do come across something that I think is worth your guys' time, I'll be more than glad to present it to you. But until then, guys, I am not gonna sell out just to give you some product just because somebody says I can be on their website. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.